In the field of transportation, that could mean restored passenger rail lines to parts of the state that have gone without for decades. New Center Maine's Sam Rogers introdu introduces us to an old plan chugging along with a new sense of hope. All aboard 2001 passenger rail service returns to Maine. Well, to parts of it. End of the line, Brunswick. The idea was that that would be a first step to connecting the whole state. Now, 20 years later, State Senator Joe Baldacci and other lawmakers are pushing for service to more metro areas, all the way to Bangor. We really can't talk about passenger rail unless we're going to connect the entire state of Maine. Support for a study to extend passenger rail service from Brunswick through Augusta and Waterville to Bangor, passing unanimously Monday night at the Bangor City Council meeting. We think it makes sense. We, we think it would help to uh, you know, the, the economy of Bangor would help the tourist economy. Helping our economy and our climate. People are trying to uh, be more mindful of the environment and use have less of a carbon footprint. Richard Rudolph and the Maine Rail Group are advocates for passenger rail service. The Maine legislature voted against feasibility studies in Bangor twice, most recently just four years ago. Back then, I guess we weren't really as organized as we are today. More organized in Augusta and Washington. Baldacci says U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg supports passenger rail and could be willing to grant federal funds for a project in Maine. But there's a hurdle, and Baldacci says it's our own Department of Transportation. They need to look beyond uh, and look at the broader picture. Um, they need to hear voices that are outside their department. And fund the $300,000 for the study to evaluate where routes could go, where stations could be, and how many passengers might take advantage. I'm quite confident that the numbers would uh, be very strong for passenger rail in Bangor. Numbers that need dollars to test that theory. In Bangor, Sam Rogers, News Center, Maine.